step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install WordPress in WAMP server and Dreamweaver on your local Windows computer so that you can develop and test your WordPress blog before going live. If you missed part one, just click on the links below and you will be redirected to that tutorial, which is installing WAMP server on your Windows computer. So let's get started. I assume you already have WAMP server going. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our browser. Let me open up a new tab here go and let's type in wordpress.org let's go up here to the right hand top right hand corner click on download wordpress let's go down here a little bit download wordpress that's the latest version as you see it's downloading down here I'm using Google so it shows it down here on the left and it's going to be going to my downloads folder on my computer C drive all right, we see that it's done. What we're going to do is we're going to shrink down this window. The next thing we need to do is we need to get WAMP server running. Now, by default, with the newer version, WAMP server, if you look down here, you don't see the little icon for WAMP server or down here, depending upon what version of Windows you have. What we're going to do is we're going to click on WAMP server. I have mine on the desktop, as you can see. Um, I also have it down here on my taskbar, which is normally where I really put all my stuff that I use a lot. Um, so we're going to use WAMP server. We double click on it. Message is going to pop up. Hit yes. And once the icon turns to green, right now it's right here. On Windows 10, it'll only stay there for a minute, and then it will pop into here. Once that's happened, we just click on it, and we want to go to the www directory. Okay. Now we want to add a folder for our website that we're going to be installing under the www directory okay so we click new add folder and the website I'm going to be adding is going to be bogus stories dot com it's important that you put the dot com dot org dot net or whatever you're going to be using as that so that's what we do there okay so and we've got it saved so you see now we have bogus stories dot com and there's nothing in it. Okay, I opened it up. I'm going to leave it empty for a minute. Let me go back on that a little bit. Okay, I'm going to shrink that back down. And I'm going to go back to my drive. And we're going to open up my WAMP server is under my D, D drive when I install it. But yours, it's going to close it out. All you have to do. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> we need to go to the downloads. So let's go to our downloads folder. Or wherever you save it to. Double click on that WordPress download. I don't care if you're using WinZip, WinRare. I'm using WinRare, which I prefer. Click on the WordPress one. Now, we're going to highlight everything under them dots. Okay. And I'm going to hit extract to. Oops. Let me move this dog log box from that screen to this screen so you can see it. And we're going to put it wherever your www dot folder and your WAMP server folder is. Mine, it just happens to be under D, WAMP64, and www, and bogus stories. Click on that. Hit OK. Once it's done installing, I mean unzipping, we can close that out. We can close that one out. Now, we go back to here. Let's click on icon. Or the WW directory. And there you go. Okay. You see bogusstories.com right here. There's the folders we extracted into here. These are key key components here. Okay, the next thing we need to do, we're gonna go ahead and leave that one open. We're gonna go down here. Again, we're gonna go to the WAMP server. 
Click on it. PHP My Admin is where you want to go next. Go to PHP, whoop, PHP My Admin. This right here says that there's a newer version of uh, PHP, not the whole WAMP server together, but just PHP. I would leave that alone for a while, not worry about that. We will have future videos because the newer versions can be a little unstable. And most likely, whoever you're hosting with does not have the most current PHP version running at all times because of the conflict issues. And there's a lot of websites they have to deal with, so they wait till it comes out for a while before they start actually making it live, the newer version. Just keep that in mind. I keep versions all the way up to PHP 7.0, which I don't know anybody right now that has that. Okay. You also see this other message says you are connected root, no password. Don't worry about that. This is a local host. You don't have to worry about it. Nobody can get into you. Um, that would change on a, a live server. I mean a live meaning like it's hosted out there in the cloud, whatever. Okay. Oops. Let's pretend that's not there. D disregard what I'm doing right now for a second. Because I gotta I already had that there. I just want to delete it. <laughs> okay. Pretend that wasn't there. All right. Now, so what you got to do once you're up, PHP My Admin, we're going to create, click on Database, okay, this tab right here, we're going to create a new database. We're going to call it, I'm going to call it bogus underscore 7451. Call it whatever you want. Um, it's up to you. Leave that the same. Hit Create. Database has been created. Now, if you click on it, there's no tables in it, okay? There's nothing there because WordPress, when you do the installs, one's going to create the tables and stuff like that. So, I'm going to do, now we're going to shrink this down. And the next thing we need to do, again, we need to go back into, oh no. We open this back up here. Now we're in our www directory, bogusstories.com. We need to go down here to wp-config sample file. Now, if you follow along in the first video, you know that WAMP server associated a text editor and browser with your installation. This is for Dreamweaver, so of course, when I click on this, it's going to open up in Dreamweaver. You might have associated it with uh, Notepad++ or any uh, number of other programs, but this was intended for Dreamweaver, so you just click on it. Dreamweaver will open it up. First messages say no, it's for testing server, no, we will get into that later in other videos, and hit no. We're going to scroll down here to where you see database name, database name. Now this is the name that we created earlier. It was bogus underscore 7451. Now, that's what I made. Just in case you forgot, don't forget, you can go down here, click on your name. Go to PHP My Admin, and you'll see it over here. We want it to be exactly like that. It's the only way to work. Okay? Let's shrink it back down. So, username, if you remember, by default, this is a local host. Just make it root. Okay? Database password, by default, is nothing. And we're going to leave it as nothing as far as a local host goes. Now, in future videos, when I show you how to take a current live website and import it into WAMP server, those steps will change. But we'll get into that later. Okay? Leave that same local host. All that stays the same. Let's go up here and hit File. Hit Save. We'll go ahead and X out of this. Okay, now we're back to this. Now, again, we need to go back to wp-config-sample file. Right-click on it. We need to rename it. All we want to do, you can't make it whatever your name you want. It's got to say wp-config. We want to take out that dash and sample, delete it, and make it wp-config file. Okay? We can go ahead and close that out. Now, we're going to go back to our browser. And, sorry about that. We're going to type in our browser, local host forward slash bogus stories dot com forward slash p 
php dash admin forward slash install dot php. Let's hit enter. Now, if at first it shows this, always want to make sure you got your name spelled right, everything, the folders are all spelled right, and all that stuff. Sometimes what we have to do, though, what we have to do is we have to come back down here, and let's just exit out of the, we're going to close this one out too as well. Let's just exit out of the WAMP server. Make sure, give it a couple seconds, make sure it's good and closed, and then let's reopen it. PHP can be a little funny sometimes. It's back to green. We're going to go up to. We're going to hit start all services. This usually only happens when you first are setting it up. Uh, not sure why, but it's just kind of like when you do some programs, you have to restart it, restart Windows. Definitely not asking you to do that. Okay. Let's go back to the browser. Localhost. forward slash bogus stories dot com forward slash actually this is all we really should have to do and it should automatically fill WP admin and install PHP for us work this time just after restating web server okay okay English of course is what I'm using I can barely speak that site title I'm going to go ahead and call it bogus stories.com. That can be changed later on within your admin panel. I'm going to create the username Mr. Bogus. That is just way too complicated for me to remember. I'm going to hide it though. <coughs> Excuse me. Type a new password. Okay. Email, this is the email that it would send your uh, data to. Um, you do not have to put anything here. I'm going to go ahead and put something in there just because, well, why not? Techydave at techydave.com. Um, as far as this goes, discourage search engines. This is a local, local testing server, so the search engines aren't going to reference this because nobody from the outside world can get in. Um, you're not live. You're only able to see it on your browser. Um, but you might as well just leave it on blank. But in the future, when you do go live, you want search engines to be able to rank you. That's how you get found. We just click install WordPress. Okay. We hit log in. Let's see if it... Lots of times it'll fill in the password for you, but it won't be right. I don't know why it is with that with WordPress, but it's just the way it is. So you might want to just retype it. You can hit remember me as many times as you want. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, now you're in your uh, WordPress dashboard. Um, you could very easily go. First thing you need to do, this is one of the things that wasn't, you need to go to settings, go to your permalinks. It's one of the biggest mistakes people make. We don't want our post to be plain where it shows, you know, these, these numbers. We don't want it done by date, month and name, numeric with these, you know, just different numbers. We want it done by post name. That way, whatever you call it, it be bogusstories.com forward slash how to install WordPress and WAMP server. You got me? You want to keep it short and sweet. Hit save changes. You're ready to go as far as it go. If you go up here and hit visit site, and there you go. See, it's on localhost bogusstories.com. Okay? So, in our next video, we're going to show you how to install uh, Dreamweaver. WordPress into Dreamweaver with WAMP server. That way you can edit your website through Dreamweaver. You have a testing server and while you're developing it in Dreamweaver and changing the code, you'll be able to see exactly how it's going to look before you upload it to your web hosting provider, whoever that may be. So thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, like us. Don't like us. If you got any questions or comments, please uh, fill out the questions and comments below. Um, you can always find us at techydave.com. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, and don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends. You have a good day.